All right, welcome back everybody. Get ready for some heat. Potentially hot enough temperatures that maybe some of you have never experienced before. Talking all time record high temperatures here in Montana, not just the hottest temperature ever recorded in August or recorded for uh, this coming Friday ever in the history of records here. Great Falls, the hottest was 106 on uh, the 6th of August back in 1961. My forecast for Friday is 104. The hottest temperature ever recorded in Helena was back in July of 2002, 105. And I'm going to come in at about 103, 104 here for the high temperature on Friday. So we will challenge the hottest temperatures ever recorded here uh, for some towns. Hazy, smoky skies out in the capital right now. Moderate air quality, 93 degrees. A little breeze in the hills around town. Great Falls also, you could kind of see that grayish a uh, hue to the sky because of area wildfires in the state, but also out of the state. 95 degrees right now. Fortunately, that wind is easing up just a bit, but 95 also in Glasgow, 94 in Haver. Slightly cooler down around Butte and West Yellowstone and Lewistown sitting in the 80s. Humidity very low here. Whenever you get down below 20% uh, relative humidity, that means it's starting to get pretty dry. And fortunately, not much in the way of wind today. But again, we're under a uh, fire weather watch here for Friday and Saturday as the wind will start to pick up Friday and Saturday. Air quality not the best, but even though the Flathead Valley and also up here around uh, the Sydney area, unhealthy for sensitive groups, it was a lot worse. The air quality that is uh, at this time last year when we had more fires burning. Nothing on the radar. A couple of wildfires uh, continuing to burn here in the state and some of them showing growth here. This is the Brownstone fire in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Here is Augusta. Uh, at times, people from Augusta have reported some smoke in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. This is where that smoke is coming from. You can see that smoke plume right there. Uh, the smoke is actually so dense that it reflects the radar beam back to the radar site. So that's what uh, you're looking at right there. And at least 366 acres, only five firefighters working that fire. It's in the Bob Marshall Wilderness area. So uh, that is a fire that will likely be allowed to burn. The Garden Creek fire, we are fighting this fire hard here. There are about 200 people uh, fighting this fire, 10% contained. And look at the growth here, almost 2,000 acres. This one producing a bit of smoke there west of uh, the Hot Springs, Lone Pine areas. Davis fire up northwest Montana, almost 400 acres, 20% contained. A couple of other fires here. The 10 mile fires up to 564 acres. Uh, that's to the south of Eureka. The Porcupine Fire likely uh, seeing full containment here today. But uh, with the hot temperatures here over the next few days and then the wind picking up Friday and Saturday, some of these fires could uh, grow significantly here. The Highway 37 fire is just about out and almost at 100% containment. And then you head down to the Bacon Rhine fire. This one's in the Lee Metcalf Wilderness in the northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park, about 500 acres. Really hasn't grown that much because it's seen some showers, rain showers over the last uh, couple of weeks. And then the Virginia Creek fire, 67 acres, and the Goldstone fire in the Beaverhead Mountains at two. Acres. So here comes our high pressure, big ridge developing here throughout the western United States, allowing some very dry and hot air to take over the state here. But also it's a, an approaching low pressure. So combine this southerly flow out ahead of the low and behind the high pressure will work together to really heat things up here this Friday. And it's when the front approaches Friday into Saturday, that's when the wind will start to increase, meaning the fire danger will get even worse. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Uh, not many places hit 100 today, but how about 102, Glasgow, Jordan hitting 100, Haver 101, Great Falls right around 100, the capital coming close to 100 tomorrow. Not very windy. Air quality will be moderate tomorrow. Friday, the breeze starts to increase 10, 15 miles per hour out of the south. And look at some of these numbers. 105, Glasgow, 106, Haver. Places like Loma or Fort Benton could be at 108, 109. Great Falls, 104, 102, 103 for the capital. Saturday, here comes the cold front. Still very, very hot. How about that? Glasgow 108 here. Wind increasing, fire danger increasing on Saturday. Hoping that the temperatures cool off some here on Sunday back down into the 80s. But behind that front, there's still some wind. And with a very dry atmosphere in place, the fire danger will continue. Here's the next seven days for the capital. 98 tomorrow. 
103 here for Friday. That is a very hot day. Try to find ways to stay cool, stay hydrated, get out of the heat here. Mother Nature helps out a little bit towards Sunday and Monday, but Great Falls 104, remember the all time hottest temperature ever recorded in Great Falls is 106. So just the fact that we're two, three degrees away from those numbers, pretty incredible. It is. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It'll be interesting. All right, and Andy Curtis joins us tonight with a look at Grizz football, That's huh? Right. Speaking of interesting, Grizz hit the field for the first time this fall. In